we're going to solve this uh, system of equations. And I notice that it is a, it's a nonlinear system. I have x squared and y squared. So I'm not going to throw it into a matrix. I'm just going to try and solve it uh, with substitution or with canceling. And right now, um, I can't just subtract and, and cancel something out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to solve this equation for x and then substitute it into that x spot. So add y to both sides. And then, um, since, that's, since that's what x is, I can put it into that x spot. So now I'm going to rewrite this equation as x squared, but x is this, uh, y plus 8, that quantity squared, plus y squared equals 34. And then to go from here, I have to square this y plus 8. And squaring means times itself, so I'm, I'm going um, y plus 8 times y plus 8. So the y gets distributed and the 8 gets distributed. And what I end up with is y squared plus 60 and y plus 64. Uh, add another y squared to that and the 34. So y squared plus y squared is 2y squared. I have my 16y still. And this quadratic, I'm going to get it equal to 0 so I can solve it. So subtract 34 from both sides. And if I do that, I get this is a positive 30. That's equal to a 0 that looks like a c. So now I'm going to solve this. I could run it through quadratic formula. I'm going to try and factor it. I'm going to factor a 2 out. I know these are all divisible by 2. So factor out a 2. Basically just cutting all those in half. And then uh, try and factor this. Things that multiply to 15 add to 8 would be uh, 5 and 3. So these things are multiplied together give me 0. So y would be negative 5 or negative 3. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug those back into one of these equations and figure out my, my corresponding x values. So when y is negative 5, I'm just going to plug it into this equation right here. Um, and I could just plug it into this one. This one would actually even be less work. Um, x is y plus 8. So y is negative 5 plus 8. That's a 3. So one of my solutions, I don't know where that came from is when x is 3, y is negative 5. And my other one, when y is negative 3, oop. Again, I'm just going to plug it in. x equals negative 3 uh, plus 8, x is 5. So when x is 5, uh, y is negative 3. And there's the two points where these two graphs cross.